That must be covered with some kind of protective method. Look, there's somebody at the cave entrance. It's Dale and Happy. Are they hurt? I don't know. But if that bomber makes a direct hit, they won't live through it. Give me the controls, Arkoff. We're going to bail out. What's the idea? I'm going to power dive the ship into that bomber. It's the only way to stop them. I'm going to stay here with you. Now, there won't be time for both of us to bail out when we send the ship into a dive. You go first and I'll follow. I'd feel a lot better if I had a parachute instead of these Martian wings. Good luck, Flash. We'll both need it. jammed after you left. Well, your plan certainly worked. That bomber was blown into atoms. At least Dale and Happy are safe from the nitron bombs. Let's hurry. They may need our help. What do you want me to do, get rough with you guys? Careful, Flash. If those clay men see us, we'll never get Dale and Happy away well, alive. Azura's palace. The Earthmen escaped from Ming. Whether they are working with Azura, we cannot yet determine. That side corridor looks familiar. I think it leads to the Clay King's throne room. Let's try it. Fortunately for you, Queen Azura's bomber has been destroyed. Just as fortunate for you, Flash Gordon has saved your kingdom. That's Dale's voice. It came from there. He has joined forces with Queen Azura. But you got that guy all wrong, King. He wouldn't walk out on his friends. Let's hope you're right. But until he fulfills his promise to bring Queen Azura here as a prisoner, you will remain as hostages. I know Flash will be here. We saw him escape from his plane. For your sake, he better act quickly. Another day in these caves, and you will be changed into clay like the rest of us. Did you hear that? There must be something about the atmosphere in these caves that changes people into clay. Yes, we've got to get them out of here. There's no use in trying to fight them, Flash. We'll only be caught. Zarkov, the Nitron. If we can get some of that, we can force the Clay King to release them. The whole supply was blown up on that bomber. Yes, I know, but there may be some left in Azura's laboratory. 
Let's try it. If we could get that clay guard out of the way, we could reach Azura's domain. But what can we do? You can't fight a clay man. I'll decoy him away and we'll make a break for it. Domain. If we can get up that ladder, we can find out. To see what you can get out of Tarnak. Show me where you keep the nitro on. all the natron there is. But that's the only way we can save Dale, Doc. What do we do? We've got to keep the beam operating. That's sure funny. You know, we came all the way from our home to destroy that beam, and now we've got the chance we can't use it. I've got an idea how we can use the nitron we have. If it works, we can destroy the beam later. What's your plan? Hold your hand out of here. Do you feel that tingling sensation? Yes. That's radioactivity. Nitron is an element of the Earth's atmosphere. The beam has drawn it 40 million miles through space. During that time, it must have taken on radioactive qualities. <laughs> that's, that's a little bit over my head, Doc. Well, you've seen its explosive power. If I can convert that into a radioactive light ray, it'll be the most powerful weapon ever known. Going to do? The Earth men have captured the powerhouse. Bring them here at once. No. We will go to them. 
what the Earth scientist says is true, then it is the very weapon I need for my war against the clay people. Let him finish it for us. Surround the powerhouse and await my signal to attack. Sarkov, someone's listening on the televisor. You're right, Flash. Tarnik must have switched on the receiving end. That's sure to bring guards down here any minute. Go on with your work, Doc. I'll take care of them. I think I've got it. Well, it looks harmless enough. Its appearance is deceptive. That harmless-looking machine has the power to paralyze any living thing. Paralyze? Oh, Doc, that's just a thing. Let's get back to the clay case. Wait a minute. Can't go back. We're sure it works. I haven't tried the machine out yet. Well, try it out on me. Well, I, I'd rather you tried it out on me. So after all, uh, it was my idea. Once you are paralyzed, Doc, I may not be able to bring you out of it. Oh, it isn't complicated. By removing these cells, you reverse the atomic flow through these electrodes. Well, go ahead. Try it out. The guards here, something must have happened. Stand aside and I'll blast it in. Why aren't you on guard? Your Majesty, we thought the Earthman was then in he here. Then he stripped you. Search the palace grounds. And if he escapes, you'll pay with your lives. Stand aside, Your Majesty. Let the guards pass. The Earthmen are in the laboratory. Even now, the scientist has completed the light ray and is testing it on Flash Gordon. We must be careful so that the machine will not be destroyed. I hope I have enough nitron to do the work. Now try to speak. See? The ray works perfectly. You're completely paralyzed. Hold him! I congratulate you, Dr. Sarkov. You have rendered Flesh Gordon power, something even I was never able to do. But you'd better let me turn this machine off. I am taking no chances. The machine stays off. But the nitron in those tubes will overheat any minute and blow us all to atoms. You're not very good at lying, Doctor. Perhaps he's telling the truth. Turn it off. Remember, my men will be watching. Take him to the dungeon. Quick, 
flash, the tunnel. Don't go in there. That's tetrahane, a deadly poison gas. Zura must have done this to stop us. We never get through that way. Gotta get through somehow, Doc. If we don't, Dale and Happy will be turned to clay. Earth men have tricked Ming and his guards and are escaping. I'll send a detachment of men after them immediately. They're armed with the machine that could stand off an entire army. There's only one way to get them. Strike from the air. Yes, Your Magnificence. Have bomber crew Z4 ready at once. Right for us. There they are. 